Has anyone here ever been backpacking before? Yeah? If not, it's simply grabbing a few friends, packing up some tents, making sure you have a lot of protein bars, and then going out and exploring just nature and God's creation. And I personally have never been. But after talking with Holland about it and hearing her many memories of backpacking with her family and friends, I knew that it was something that I needed to try. Holland grew up in Spokane, Washington with her parents and her younger brother. And when she was in middle school, she wasn't the most athletic person, but her dad kind of forced her to be, and he said, you have to play a sport of some kind. <laughs> so she decided to do cross country. And through cross country, she ended up loving it, and she began to love just being outdoors in general. Hmm. So um, through cross country and just being outdoors, she de developed a passion for backpacking that she got from her dad. So her first time backpacking was when she was 10 years old, and she went to St. Regis, Montana with her whole family, and it was a two-hour drive to get there, which wasn't that bad. But then once they parked, they had to park at the bottom of the trailhead and then walk all the way up to the campsite carrying tents, carrying chairs, carrying backpacks full of freeze-dried food and a lot of protein bars, and it took them four hours to get all the way up to the top of the trail, and it was a long, long walk. It was all uphill. And then by the time they got up there, it was nighttime, they were tired, they just wanted to go to bed, call it a night. But they realized after trying to set up the tents that the dad left the tent poles at the bottom of the hill <laughs> in the car in the front seat. He remembered exactly where he left them. Mm -hmm. And it sounds pretty miserable, right? Like, it's a bad, bad start to the trip. <laughs> but she's gone every summer since then, which I don't understand. <laughs> Not that I experience, I would never want to go backpacking ever. <laughs> but one thing that she really admired about being outdoors was the authenticity of it. She loves that also about people. She loves when people are just real and genuine and they don't do things just because everyone else is doing them. They're not scared to just be themselves and be unique, even if other people don't necessarily agree with it. She also loves that about nature because there's nothing fake in nature. There's nothing hidden. It's all real and she can experience it and she can make of it what she wants to. In her free time, when she's not backpacking or running cross country, she is a double major in psych and religion. So she either wants to work in a psych ward, because it's more interesting than just a normal therapy office, or she wants to be a chaplain at a hospital. So either way, she's going to be helping people find that same joy and that same peace that she gets when she's out in nature. Um, after talking to Holland and hearing of her many backpacking adventures, I learned three main things. Number one, I need to go backpacking. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. I just hope I don't forget my temples. Mm -hmm. Number two, that she's an amazing storyteller and she's just like when she tells you a story you feel like you're there and you're experiencing it with her and number three if you ever need someone to talk to or vet to or you need someone to pray with you or you just need a little help setting up a tent holland your girl okay <laughs>